Hi, so today I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic chart in PHP. I'm going to show you in very simple way. So first of all, open Google and here you can find canvas chart. So here you will get this link. So open that link and inside that you have to select PHP and now you can see here you have thousands of charts are available. So you can select any chart. So I am going to select this chart. This is a simple chart. And from here, you can select any other chart also. Let me check column chart. Yeah, this is the column chart. Now just you have to copy this code. So I am going to copy this code and I am going to paste. Let me create one PHP file index.php and I am going to paste the code over here. So you see I did nothing just I select one chart. I just copy code from here and I save this file. So let me save this file and let me run. You see chart is here. Now you see this chart a static chart and here we have this parameter but we need dynamic chart this is the static so now we have to convert in dynamic so let me create one table local host php my admin and here we are going to create new database first chart underscore db and then create here we are going to create one table chart one we are going to take three column id we are going to take auto increment then label and then amount yeah now it's ready so we are going to do save and now we are going to insert the value so i'm going to add here a value 100 b value 200 and then we are going to do save so here we have now two entries so now we have to make this dynamic so here Let me do database connectivity. Local lost root, then MySQL I select DB. Yeah, dollar link and our DB name is chart DB. And our table name is chart01. So here now while dollar o is equal to my SQL I page array and then dollar res. Okay. So here we move the loop already. Now we have to create one dynamic array. So I am going to declare array over here. Dollar test is equal to array. Then I am going to take one variable. Dollar count is equal to zero. Now we are going to set the value inside our test array. So dollar test, dollar count, and then we are going to give it an Error name label is equal to dollar row label. This is our table column name. Copy paste. Here we are we have to give y because here you see y and label. So we pass here label and then y and from our table value is amount. Okay. Now here you see data points. So here we have to pass dollar test. Now let's see. 
you see we are not getting value number one so here we have to pass dollar count is equal to dollar count plus one here you see we have two values 100 200 chart is also here generated dynamic now i am going to enter two more values c 250 d 300 go let's see here we have here four values now if you want to change the heading then also we have here facilities so here you see values change here you want to change the values then also we have facilities you see it's changed now when you move the mouse and you are getting the values that value you want to change then also here we have facilities if you want to remove this and if you want to change the comma values format then also you can do it and if you want to change the bar color and etc etc then we have multiple properties that you will find here index background label if you click here then here you can see the how you can pass the background color of index label means this color this color so everything will be available here just you have to take a look so you see this is the very simple way to make dynamic chart you can select any chart from here like if you want to set this chart then here you have to just check what parameter we have to pass and accordingly you have to load data from your database nothing else thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much